connection since you talked about connections earlier as you were talking i happen to be in uh in central park a number of years ago and i like yeah, john wick three i think was being uh was being shot so when you're talking about john wick and some of the connections and ties to that um and the scene where keanu reeves was running through the mall so yeah. i got to uh I got to experience that being uh, filmed live. Oh, that's it was, cool. It's being done. So that's no, so it was, cool. It was a cool moment. Yeah. Um, yeah. We, I don't think we were on that set. That was probably Chad. Um, but yeah, that was, a, it's a great scene. And what an awesome franchise they've created. I'm just so proud of the guys. Well, thank you, Franklin. Thanks for coming in. Cause I, I was telling him about the, what I do here and he said he would come. I was like, yeah, he's here. Uh, thanks, Franklin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to keep going. Margo raised her hand. So Margo, go ahead, hop on, sweetheart. And then I'll call you two next, Natasha. I'll keep going through whose hands are raised, okay? Perfect. Margo, un unmuted, okay. Yes. Hi. Hi, Kelly. Hi. I am so excited to officially meet you. Um, I have Hello. trained at 87 North, actually right when it first opened. Um, and I took the last month off. I'm actually a world finalist for Miss Swimsuit USA. Oh, wow. So... Um, I really feel like God wants the next pageant girl to really be a superhero. My story is kind of crazy. Um, 10 years ago, I escaped from many men who tried to kidnap me for human trafficking. And then six months later, I was held hostage. And that really propelled me to get into martial arts and firearms and weapons of fight choreography because God made me a superhero in real life. And he wants me to play one on screen. Wow. Um, so hearing you talk about how you were like, you gave those girls kind of this camera and allowed them to have a voice and speak. My, my goal is really to be traveling around um, comic cons and speaking to children on stage and like what it is to be a hero in a movie, but like how to be one on, uh, how to be one in real life and teaching like young children to like self-defense and all those amazing things, which I really think is so important, so vital. Um, but my question for you is That's because awesome, I think you're so, Holy thank cow. you. Thank Holy you, thank cow. you, thank you. I'm hoping I'm like, if I win, uh, win the pageant, I could be in uh, Sports Illustrated and I wanna be in Sports Illustrated. Like I do trick riding on horses so like I can stand up and do mounted shooting and all that stuff. And I wanna do oh, that. That's awesome. Soon. That's um, awesome. Thank you, thank you. So my question is what has been your favorite action sequence that you've either first read on a script or like you helped really put together that when you saw it on screen and in the movie, you were like, oh my God, this is the best thing ever. What has been that? I mean, the Atomic Blonde. That's, 13 yeah, that, my choreography. <laughs> yeah, th thank you. Uh, yeah, that's a great question actually. And wow, what a, a legacy you. that you've already started for yourself. Like, that's amazing. Thank you. Um, I, and come back and train when you're done with this. Amen, suit. yes, absolutely. End of <laughs> October, I will be back. Baby, I'm in mentor group right now with Mike. So I'm okay. still connected. Great. That's good. Um, so uh, it was actually probably the stairwell like one -er, Um, and, and it was my idea, which David has given me credit for a bunch, which is really nice. But like he was freaking out because we were starting to, the studio was starting to really like it. There were already conversations that Universal was going to take it. And this guy is known for like giant action on giant movies. And this is his first solo directorial. And he didn't have a big sequence. We only had 28 million to make that film um, total. So it was like 12 below the line. It was like no money basically. And so, you know, I said to him, I was like, well, you know, you've always wanted to do that one -er, and you, you know, it was always sort of actor dependent. I feel like Charlize is one of the few who can actually like deliver that again and again and again and be able to put that into a thing. And it got him thinking, and then he ended up that that ended up being the thing that was super, uh, you know probably most signature in that movie and one of the signatures that like kind of stays with us and um and it turned out of course better than I ever expected 